What's up guys, welcome to NAT's application and today I'm going to introduce you to QFiling, a file assistant which is going to help us to organize and categorize all the files from our computer into the NAS. So first things first, we have to create a new task at the upper right corner and choose the destination and set the source folder. I also set the task name for the task that we are going to give and we have three options, we have to choose the source file and we have the satisfy criteria, all or these six criteria that we have to follow here by your choice and more so into details you can check of that. By clicking apply, you move to the second option which is the file editing and we have these six options here and you can check the watermark where you can choose by your choice you can set the uh, text here say hello for example and also set the color of the text for the watermark that you want we have different colors also you can choose the background of the color and with the different colors as well or decide not to have a color at all more so you can choose an image to be imported from your NAS or your computer to be as a watermark and also check the opacity and the size of the watermark that you are willing to have in your images to PDF. Also the positioning of the watermark, either custom or DV tile. More so, we can go to the image to PDF and have the basic settings sorted by name or ascending, page size and the advanced settings that we can check the margins here, three different types of the margins for the document. And also we can go to the encryption and decryption for the QTS there. We can encrypt the files by setting a password and also or decrypt them by your choice. So by leaving it just as it is now, we will move to the compression part by setting first the name of the file for, to be compressed, either for zip file or 7z, and by your choice also set a password. By clicking apply, we move to the third option, which is destination path, and here we choose the destination of the files to be organized, and also we have the backup method and folder structure. You can choose to specify the destination as by default as it is, follow the original folder structure or flatten the structure. Also you can file handling principles where you can set the name for the files and you can set the index to start with for example a number and positioning after or in front of the name. You can see the changes here as the hello one moves for example the PNG files for the pictures as we chose. And by clicking more apply we go to the next part where we can decide to have it as a one-time uh, task or scheduled by hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, and so on so. We can see the summary here of the task that we chose, and after finishing it, we can see that the status of the task is being processed and it, it completes there when it comes uh, to green. More so, we can move to the file station, which is our file manager, and we can decide to see, to extract the files right here on the place where we extract, uh, where we compress the file hello zip, for example, or double click to download it in your computer, and to see the results of the queue filing. By double clicking on it or opening the compressed file, the zip file here, you can see that the images have been converted to PDF with the watermark as we uh, chose earlier. More so moving to the queue filing, to the overview, we can see the task status that one task has been completed and we have the suggested recipes for the task that we want to perform. We have the comprehensive, photography uh, enthusiast, document manager, and music maestro and the last not least also the television guru for video transcoding more so you can set your own recipe by three rules and then you can use that on your next uh, task also you can check the system logs for all the tasks and the task list for a certain task to check the settings and the task logs for that task so this is how you organize and categorize your files using QFiling Thank you for watching this video on QFiling and I'll invite you to watch more videos on live.qnap.com and I'll see you next time at NAS Application. Thank you, bye.